This is Ralph Irvin at Spalding Field, where you can see behind me the UCLA football team continues their off-season workouts. This week, we're looking at junior safety Raheem Moore and seeing how his off-season has gone so far. Everybody's working hard. Uh, that's one thing I can't say. And uh, we all give it our best. And uh, the coaches are pushing us for us to be the best. And uh, that's only the one thing that Coach Newhouse and all the whole coaches that expect us to do. So the off-season workouts is going good. I feel stronger. I feel like the best shape of my life. So it's a, it's a good thing for me. He's been telling us, you know, we, we need lots of leadership. We need you to get, make sure everybody's all in tune, everybody's all on one sound, making sure everybody's doing things right, you know, on and off the field. So, it's been saying, Raheem, we need you to be that leader. You know, you're a veteran now, you're a junior, so we need you to step your game up. So, it's been pretty much making me a better man all over. Just telling me, you know, uh, how I can get better, you know, what I should improve on from last year, and, uh, you know, how to be a better man, how to just be a better a teammate, and uh, be a captain for this team. And they said they want, they want me to be a, a specific weight. And that's 205. I'm 200 right now. And they said, you know, just keep going, keep getting after it. You know, keep leading these guys on. And I feel my conditioning and training is the best right now. You know, we have the best staff in America. And I feel like I'm in the best shape of my life. I haven't taken a break since I've been here. And I've been constantly working. Every day I do something. You know, even on Sundays, Monday through Friday, through Sunday, I mean, I do something. So, and uh, that's, that's just how I've been my whole life. And uh, that's the reason why I'm in the shape that I am now. Um, I pretty much can say everybody. I think one person that's looking good is Aaron Hester. Um, another guy's looking good, Ryan Taylor, uh, Jonathan Franklin, uh, Dayton Jones, Jeff Baca. Uh, quarterback's looking good. I mean, I think everybody's looking good. Morel Presti's going hard. Uh, who else? Uh, that boy David Allen, you know, he, he, he approached the weights with, with some aggression. Uh, who else is working hard? Uh, everybody is. You know, all the DBs, Viney, uh, Abbott, you know, we all look pretty good, man. So. You know, uh, it's going to be a good year for us, and I'm, I'm, I'm very excited, and I'm glad where we are right now as a team. And everybody's working hard, and that's one thing that's going to build a championship-type mentality for us. Uh, you know, Raheem made so many gains last year during the offseason in terms of the weight that he put on and the strength and the speed as well. Uh, that was something certainly we were going to continue to work on all those areas, but really this offseason was the intangibles of – how to be a great leader, be a great team leader, because he's obviously got the, the player's respect just because of the type of player he is on the field. So now it's just working with a real young guy like him and, and putting it all together to where um, he can lead during the off season and really you know, be that, that solid force that we need out there on the field. So those were some of the things we worked on with him. Well, it's always a good problem to have when you got somebody who's uh, very self-motivated. Uh, I'd rather have to try to pull them back a little bit, yank their collar back, and try to get them to uh, try to protect them from themselves and have to be like pulling teeth. And with Raheem, it's never been pulling teeth. But he's, he's a guy who's always going to go the extra mile and, and uh, work hard on the days that we don't even train. So, you know, we've had to keep an eye on that and just a little pr protect him from himself a little bit, make sure he didn't get in overtraining. Once again, UCLA will open their spring football camp in early April. In the meantime, you get the latest news and notes right here, including next week when we'll talk with Jeff Baca and see how the offensive lineman's offseason has gone so far. It's all right here at UCLABruins.com.